In this activity, we will continue to familiarize ourselves with the names and sizes of fraction pieces. If you've not yet learned about fraction pieces and their names, stop this video and watch the Introduction to Fraction Names video first. We'll start with a little review. The fraction names tell us how many pieces it takes to fill the whole circle. For example, it takes five-fifths to fill a circle, and it takes seven-sevenths to fill a circle. Here you can see that as we fit more equal pieces in the circle, the pieces get smaller. If I cut a circle into three equal parts, the pieces are much larger than if I were to cut it into nine equal parts. Let's use what we know about halves to answer this question. Here I have a bunch of half pieces. Do you think they will fill these circles exactly? I know that two halves fill a circle, so I can continue doing that and I can see that yes, six halves will fill three circles exactly. Instead of having six halves, I now have six thirds. Will they fit the circles exactly? Let's see. I can remind myself how many it takes to fill one circle, three, and now I can see that I'm not going to have enough to fill the remaining two circles. Thirds are smaller than halves, so I would need more pieces to fill the same amount of circles. Here we have a half and a quarter. Will they fill the circle? I know it takes two halves to fill a circle, and we also know that a quarter is smaller than a half. Knowing that, we understand that a quarter is not enough to fill this empty space, so the circle will not be filled. Keeping our half and our quarter, what would it take to fill this empty space? Let's try the fifth. Hmm, the fifth is too small, so let's try the quarter. Perfect. Here we can see that two quarters fill half of the circle. Which of these circles will be more full? I have three quarters here and four fifths, so I know that each of these circles will be missing exactly one piece. We saw before that a fifth is smaller than a quarter. That can help us answer this question. The empty space of the fifth will be smaller than the empty space of the quarter, which tells us that this circle will be more full. So that's it. If you'd like some more practice, check out the Placing Fractions in Circles app.